Well, that happens all the time, by the way, up there in Snoqualmie Pass. They get all that cold weather. But hey, today, the first day of winter, beginning at 348, called the shortest day of the year. We only have nine hours and 56 seconds of daylight here with sunrise at 647, sunset at 443 this afternoon here. And we're getting close to that sunrise now and some cloud cover out there to start off our day from our BJCC camera. It is chilly, 41 degrees out there, some light winds too, but the rain has cleared out of the area. As cold as 28 in Hamilton with a clear sky there, but 39 in Fayette to Asheville and Coleman. And it's in Talladega there, 41, 42, Alabaster, Tuscaloosa. You're at 43 degrees now. And you can still see plenty of clouds still working the way through the area. And this is going to be the trend for us here throughout much of the day as the cloud cover continues to kind of stick around. But some of it will start to break up a little bit this afternoon. May see a few peaks of sunshine as our system moves off there to the eastern seaboard. And again, a little bit of a break in the weather out there for the day today, starting off in the upper 30s. We'll get to 53 this afternoon. Good to get all those preps done to your home as we get into the bitter cold weather heading on into Friday, Saturday and even into Christmas Day, Sunday, but Friday and Saturday, the coldest days weather aware for those days. Single digit low temperatures, wind chill values 0 to 15 below 0. Yes, that is not an error. That's 15 below 0 here and definitely some pipe bursting weather with this cold weather. Where is it right now? Well, you can see here looking at the satellite and radar map right along this line here. This is kind of the leading edge of where that coldest air is. And yes, of course, this is headed right down to Birmingham as we get on into to the next, say, 48 hours once that gets down here. Temperatures up to the north are already bitter cold. How about 5 below Minneapolis, 13 below in Bismarck. Leading edge, but you can see from Omaha to Chicago, 6 to 11 degrees. And again, this is working its way to the south. Now, this will be tomorrow starting at 4 o'clock Thursday. We're in the mid-50s. There is that cold front inching its way closer to us. As we get to dinner time, we're at 54 here on Thursday. But how about 26 in Hamilton? May see a few snow flurries. Those snow flurries may get to Birmingham. This isn't how we get our big snow events here. It's kind of the cold air falling behind a front, not a lot of moisture with it, but don't be surprised to see a few snowflakes out there on Thursday evening. No accumulation by nine o'clock. We're at 34 in town, 55 Alex City, and then as we get on into Friday morning, here comes the incredibly cold weather. We do start to clear out, but how about four Coleman, eight Jasper fade to Birmingham, 11 Tuscaloosa, 10 in Talladega, incredibly cold out there, and we stay cold all morning. Even by 10 a.m. temperatures only still maybe up to 15 degrees here, but that winds there will be howling, so we'll feel like six below from here to Alabaster. 10 below from Hamilton and Gadsden, maybe 13 below zero there at Coleman. So do have a wind chill warning in effect from Birmingham to the north to the south. A wind chill watch basically is saying all areas could be below zero as we head into Friday morning, even into Saturday. Now, Friday afternoon, not much of a warm up. We might get into the lower 20s. Some of you won't even get that high. Heading on into Saturday morning again, we're talking 10 to 16 degrees out there. Bitter cold wind chill still around zero. Saturday afternoon, we're back into the 20s. When you head to Christmas service this Saturday evening, it'll be be very cold, so bundle up there by Saturday 10 o'clock. We're only sitting on into the teens and 20s. So as Santa arrives on Christmas morning, we're waking up to about 18 degrees, may briefly get to 32 to 34, maybe for two hours above freezing. And that's a cause for concern because then we potentially would be below freezing all day Friday, all day Saturday, most of Sunday, even on into Monday morning. So potentially up to 84 hours below 32, and that would not bode well for us. So protect people, protect those pets. They have to be indoors in a warm place. Do not leave any outside and protect those pipes as well too. Now is the time to go ahead and wrap those uh, exposed pipes. Detach your hoses. Don't keep them connected. Cover those outside spigots with either a spigot cover or a towel. And as we get into Thursday night and Friday, that's when you want to drip your faucets again. The farthest faucet farthest from where the water comes into the house and also open up those cabinet doors to let that heat go in that again Friday, Saturday and Sunday for Christmas. So Christmas will be cold and uh, Santa loves it. I don't think we're going to love it too much, but we do get back to the mid 40s by Tuesday.